Hi, I'm Shorty and welcome to my YouTube channel, Shorty Skate Series. Today I'm going to be showing you the Insta360 1X2 and why I really love it for filming roller skating content. So the beauty about the Insta360 1X2 is that it has two lenses, so one at the front and one at the back. So unlike normal action cameras which have one lens and shoot just what's in front of it, this camera will shoot 360 degrees this way as well as this way. So it's sort of like a fish eye type lens filming. The great thing about that is that if you pair it with say your selfie mm -hmm. stick, which I love, the stick and the camera will become invisible. So you can get these really cool videos of you skating, but without a camera in frame. <laughs> And if you're like me and you tend to skate solo, you can pair it with the tripod legs like this. They're quite heavy, so I know when the stick is at full extension that the wind won't blow it over. You can put it anywhere, you can press record and know that it will film you 360 degrees. So you'll film everything so that you know when you're skating or practicing a trick, you won't lose any of the action because it's filming everything. So then later you can go onto your phone and then reframe just the important parts that you want. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the app but once you have it down it's amazing and it can create all these interesting and fun videos so really this camera I absolutely love I take it everywhere with me I don't go skating without it even if I don't film every time I love to have it there just in case if you are interested in the Insta360 camera this is the One X2 or any of the accessories or the other cameras I'll add links below so you can go check them out for yourself they are affiliated links if you do buy through these links I do get a small mission so thank you you can buy the insta360 1x2 by itself or in a bundle this is the creator kit bundle which has a lot of accessories geared towards creators as the name suggests it includes the 1x2 camera which captures 5.7k resolution in 360 degrees the 120 centimeter invisible selfie stick, the bullet time tripod handle, which you can also use as a tripod, but it's not recommended for outdoors, cold shoes to fit external microphones or lights, the premium lens guard, the lens cap for protection, USB-C charging cord, micro SD card, microphone cord, manual stickers, and the protection sleeve. Some other accessories I have are the sticky lens guards, which I'll talk about a little bit later, the all-purpose tripod which I leave in my skating bag because I use it a lot. An extra battery which I also leave in my skating bag especially when filming tutorials. The unicorn helmet mount which I've only used with my Insta360 GO 2 camera so far as it's a lot lighter. And lastly the 3 meter extended edition selfie stick. In total, I have three invisible selfie sticks. The one I use most is the 70cm selfie stick. It's the perfect length for selfie stick skating and it can fit in my sling bag so I can take it for filming vlogs as well. The 120cm selfie stick is great for creating bullet time videos or if I need a tripod a little bit taller to film about chest height instead of waist height. And my 3m selfie stick is perfect for filming fake drone shots. So knowing myself and how I like to drop things on occasion and also the type of filming I'm doing while skating, the risk is too high not to have lens protection as the lenses on the Insta360 ONE X2 are not replaceable. So while the premium lens guard was included in the creator kit, I actually prefer to use the sticky lens guards instead. This is because the stitching with the sticky lens guards is better than with the premium lens guards and of course without any lens guards is the best. On a side note, taking your camera in mud will 100% scratch up the lenses. I've replaced my sticky lens guards twice already.
Another thing to note with this camera that it isn't great for shooting in low lighting, especially if you want to skate at night. I would say it's fine for social media, but action cameras are not the greatest for low light filming, especially if you're looking for crisp footage. I do know Insta360 has a new camera, the One RS 1 inch, which is meant to be much better in low light situations. So if you want to shoot mainly at night, you may want to look into that camera instead. The Insta360 ONE X2 is waterproof to 10 meters. If you want to go deeper than that, you should invest in the dive case. I can't swim, so 10 meters is just fine for me. But a must have if you're playing in water is the floating hand grip, which I'm using here. Why I love the Insta360 ONE X2. Since I skate solo, the ONE X2 is sort of like my personal camera crew, so I now don't go skating without it. The ability to film 360 degrees and then reframe the shot and track myself later was a game changer, especially when filming my skate tutorials. Before I got this camera, I was using the Insta360 GO 2, which is great because it's tiny and I could get interesting shots. It was an improvement from using my phone, but both of these cameras, you could only shoot directly in front. So if I didn't set up the camera right, I wasn't skating in the frame. So then I would have to adjust and repeat until I got what I wanted. However, skating with a buddy is even better when it comes to filming with the One X2. You'll never miss any of the action and you can get super creative with the camera angles. If you don't have any ideas, the Insta360 mobile app has great step-by-step -step tutorials for different video tricks. Plus the community tab can be a great source of inspiration too. So if you're looking for an action camera to film your roller skating content, I highly recommend the Insta360 ONE X2. If you want to check out more videos filmed with this camera, you can check out my Instagram shortstop.6. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.